Hi friends, this is Alexa or Ray, and hopefully today I have a less chaotic than last time Q&A slash binder update video. I've got quite a lot to put away and quite a couple questions to answer, but let's try to make this less stressful on me than it was last time. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get out all of these things I need to put away here, all the like regular sized photo cards. Got a couple of tour items or muster items. They're kind of out of order. Actually, I've got a whole bunch of tour mini PCs to put away. And then also some larger sort of inclusion things. So I'll get those all out and we will get started. All right, we'll get started with the first question, the first couple of cards. Um, I'm going to go to my B section because uh, I've got to put away some very exciting lucky draws. So this will finish out B for me. Um, I have both Hobie and Namjoon's um, Japanese lucky draw PCs. These are the hollow ones. Um, they're really hard to see in this lighting, which is unfortunate, but they are beautiful. Um, and we're going to put them in a formation like this. <laughs> uh, the first question I have from Steph Trades is that, is there a PC in your collection that was the hardest to find or get? Um, honestly, I don't have that many sort of like rare photo cards um, and I collect two easy to collect members. Um, so there wasn't anything that was like super hard to get. I would say the photo card that I had to like try to secure the most times like through Neokio on Mercari Japan uh, was Namjoon's uh, Memories of 2017 DVD uh, PC. It's just probably because it's like beautiful. <laughs> uh, here is Stars Hollow. So every time I say Star Hollow, um, I think of Stars Hollow, like, uh, what is that TV show called? Gilmore Girls, <laughs> which is funny. Tay Ginny underscore trades asks a photo card that you spent too much money on. This is kind of a similar question in that there haven't been that many, here is Heart Hollow, by the way, there hasn't been that many photo cards that I've spent that much money on. Again, I collect two members that are um, better priced than like all the other members in BTS, unfortunately. Um, fortunately for me, I guess, but unfortunately for the balance of the collecting community. Um, so I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I spent too much money on. Definitely some items like that I've gotten on Macari Japan, for example, that I then see right after I buy it for a normal price at like a ridiculously low price. Um, but yeah, nothing that I've, I feel like is outrageous. I mean, these these PCs were kind of expensive because you had to buy the deluxe album. And then when you get four of them, that equals four deluxe albums. Um, but I mean, worth it for this absolute stunner of a page. I don't know. There's part of me that wants to separate this out into like separate out Namjoon and Hobie. Just because like with this many PCs on a page, it is kind of overwhelming. You don't get to like appreciate the beauty of each of these. And man, it is really hard to see those hollow when they're in the sleeve. That makes me sad. Next, I have some album cards. Oh, yeah, uh, exciting. I will be finishing my collection for like what I'm currently collecting for Korean albums in this video. Um, but we'll move on to Mot 7. We're gonna finish this off. I had already finished off. I had Tay, but I let that go to Jane who needed it to finish her, she needed it to finish her complete OT7 set. And it just, I care more about her collection than my collection, I swear. Um, but we'll go ahead and put these away. And then I also have Hobie and Namjoon's version four. Um, the next couple questions are from Collect Yoon on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, she asks, um, who do you collect besides BTS and why? Uh, the only other group that I'm currently like actively collecting for is Enhypen. This is my little Enhypen binder. Um, if you want to see me do Enhypen videos, let me know. I haven't really done much on it on my channel yet, but I do collect for them. I collect Jake um, as well as some JPCs and some Sunu PCs because they are my bias line. Um, why do I collect them? What's actually really fun about collecting them is that I came in from the very beginning. So I didn't watch Island like as it came out, but I watched it shortly after and before the group officially debuted. Um, so yeah, it's been fun to follow them from the very beginning. Whereas like with BTS, I came in like basically six and a half years after they debuted. Um, so it's fun to collect a new group from the beginning. Okay, we'll move on to some Persona photo cards. Uh, Collect you and also asked, do you have um, any collector channels or accounts you recommend following? Uh, Collect you to begin with. Uh, she has, I think, my favorite collection in that like wrap line is just such a fun thing to collect for. Um, there's a lot to name. So what I'll do is I'll just like create a 
playlist of some of my favorite channels and I'll link it down below. So check that out. Um, I spend way too much time watching collection YouTube. So I've got a lot to recommend. Um, we are finishing this, which is really exciting. Uh, this is like an official little sticker. So I don't know where I'm going to put him, but I will keep it. Collect June also asks, what is your ultimate goal PC to collect? Um, my, the only thing I still have sort of sights set on that I really, really want are Namjoon's Fire broadcast photo card, as well as Namjoon's, um, what is that called? Armypedia postcard set. Um, I purchased it and it just, I think, got lost in the mail kind of thing. Um, so that is something that I do want to finish. This, I don't know if you saw my haul, but this is the first photo card I ever pulled. Um, and I gave it away, but I got them back. So I don't know if this is a meaningful photo card for me, his little teefies. The funny thing is when I pulled this, um, I had to text Jane and say, who is this? Like that's how little I knew about BTS when I uh, first started getting interested in them. Very funny. So there is the Persona page done. I think Persona has the least like cohesive photo cards, but it does look nice all together. <laughs> I have so many Yoongis, it's great. All right, and then we're gonna finish off this OT7 set as well. Um, but Collect June has a couple more questions for me. Uh, she says, do you have any 2021 goals in regarding to collecting? I think my newest, most fun goal is that I'm going to be collecting OT7 for whatever they do with Muster this year. Um, and I'm really, really excited about that. I didn't think I'd be an OT7 gal, but here we are. Not that I am not like OT7, like I love them, but I didn't think I'd be an OT7 collecting kind of gal. Um, but I guess it happens to the best of us. <laughs> She also asks, are there any groups you'd like to collect but haven't committed to yet? There's a part of me that's interested in collecting for TXT, but I just don't think I know enough about them yet. Um, I definitely listen to a lot of their music, but I still have like a gap in my knowledge. Um, so I don't know, that's a maybe. I want to collect a girl group, but I'm not currently like into any girl groups. I, I need to get started on that. Um, so that that's also a maybe thing. Eventually I would like to do that. I think we're kind of almost done here. And then I'll do a flip through of all this because I'm so excited. I have one last tier PC. Click June also asks, what kind of groups do you listen to besides BTS? Um, not many K-pop groups yet. Um, definitely something I'm trying to get more into. Um, but I listen to a lot of like female singer songwriters. Um, that's like usually the type of music I like, which is funny. I like sad girl music and then BTS. Like it's confusing for everyone involved. I, I agree. Um, but then, yeah. I used to be kind of like a emo scene kid, so all of that music was fun for me too. Now we're gonna move on to Japanese items, which is like all of this, almost all of this. Actually, let's look through this. Let's flip through my album photo card collection because it's done momentarily, done for now. I have plans, but it's done for now. I'll answer another question while I'm flipping through. Collect June also asked, how do you prepare for a video advice or tips for YouTube? Um, this is kind of weird for me because if you don't know, in another life, I had a booktube channel. That's how Jane from golden underscore JJK trade and I uh, know each other. So I used to spend a lot of time in front of the camera on YouTube. And so doing like this collection channel has been honestly much easier. Like I don't have to get ready. At most I paint my nails. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't know. I, I keep all of my cards in one place. I do a lot of binder maintenance um, in preparation for videos. So I'll link up, I did like an ASMR um, ambient noise binder video where I was sort of setting up to like put cards away where I get like, you know, sleeves ready, that sort of thing. I like to have an idea of where things are gonna go and that I'm gonna like how they look um, once they're in there. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any advice or tips. Um, I would say only film what you want to film. Don't force yourself um, to make all these videos because other people are doing it. Like this ultimately is a hobby on top of another hobby. So like making it as less stressful as possible is ideal. Um, I got burnt out on reading because I was making YouTube videos about it. And I don't necessarily want to get burnt out on collecting because I'm here on YouTube doing it. So I don't know, that would be my two cents there. Wow, that was beautiful. I'm so exciting. Yeah, guess what my next plans are for album cards. <laughs> Tayjinny underscore trades also asked, do you have a collecting goal? I kind of answered that question already. Um, and obviously my goal is to kind of keep up with things. Um, without getting wrapped up in stuff I don't actually want to collect. So I'm like definitely not interested in collecting collab stuff, but there's so much of it out there. 
Um, so I would say continuing to resist <laughs> would be a goal that I have for this year as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put away all of these Namjoon and some Hobie Japanese photo cards and answer some questions along the way. I'm still missing like all of these more expensive cards. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them because I don't love how these cards look and they're just expensive. They're just expensive. Um, but whatever, we'll see what happens. The next question from BTS, uh, dot collections 27, I think it says, um, what is your favorite OT7 or bias line PC set? Um, my bias line, I don't think to my knowledge has ever been like all in a unit together. If you don't know, my bias line is Namjoon Hobi are my biases. And then Jimin is also in my bias line. I wouldn't call him a bias wrecker. I just like relate to him so, so deeply. I would say my bias wrecker is Yoongi. Um, so I don't know, it's kind of like a three to four person bias line, but obviously OT7. Uh, I don't think they've ever been in a unit together. If they have, please let me know. Let me show you one of my favorite <laughs> bias line photos. Look at them. I wanted so desperately when Essentials to come out for this to be like one of the versions of the album and for there to be photo cards with this leopard like suit situation. Um, so yeah, this is some of my favorite. This is why it's on the front of my binder here. So my favorite OT7 and definitely one of my favorite like bias line shots altogether. So yes, there's that. Speaking of Jane, I'm always speaking of Jane. She asked me a couple of questions. Uh, the first one is tell me how much you love and hypen and why. Um, kind of like I talked about uh, before, this is I Need You. Um, it was really, really fun to follow them from the beginning and to see them sort of grow so much like in front of my eyes. Like obviously BTS has grown an amazing amount, um, but I wasn't there like watching them. Um, so it's been really fun to watch that sort of in real time. Uh, so that's been really exciting. In general though, their music fucking slaps. Their choreo also fucking slaps. Um, I'm sad that there's not like a rap, a rapper or like a rap line. I think maybe eventually they'll start introducing some of that. Um, but that being said, because they're all singers and dancers like by trade, they also give like incredible performances because they're like the cream of the crop, right? They like got through this competition together because they were all so great. Um, so those are some reasons that I love and hype in. Their music is great. They're sweet little beans. <laughs> they're such children. Um, yeah, so they're they're a good group. Stan and hype in. Uh, this is one of those, what is this from? Fake Love, Fake Love Everyone Part 2. Um, it's like one of those sleeves that there's like a million of them floating around. I'm gonna put it in this empty spot here. I purposely left an empty spot because um, I kind of wanted to separate like the older PCs that look much different from like the newer Japanese ones. So they're on two different pages. Um, Jane also asks, are there any concept, are there any concepts that BTS should try? Um, I don't know, like that's such a hard question. Uh, this is one of the Hobie PCs that I'm collecting because it is just the most divine thing I've ever seen. Um, I don't know, I do really like their darker and more like introspective uh, concepts. So I would like to see that again. Um, I love pop music and stuff too, but like, for example, Butter Dynamite aren't my all time favorite BTS songs, even though I'm getting a kick out of them. Like, yeah, so maybe more of that. Uh, Jane also asks my favorite and hypen song and choreo. My favorite song off the newest album, Carnival, is Fever. So when they decided to release Fever as the next single, I was so excited. I really love the choreo for that dance, but I think I'm still like obsessed with the Give and Taken choreo or the Drunk Days choreo. And if you'll notice that they're very connected, um, I love that shit. I love that there are similar moves in both. Like they're just creating a really great, great theme within Hypen and I'm, I'm excited. Um, I don't think this is gonna fit here. I thought it might be fun because this is kind of transparent to put it in like a colorful sleeve. Let's see. Mm, do I hate that? Maybe I hate that. Do I hate it? Maybe I hate it. I think I hate it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, and the last question she asks, she says, muster is coming up. What is your ideal set list? Uh, we talked about this a little bit in person. I would love to see them do disease. Um, I also truly love the song Louder Than Bombs and they, I don't think, right? No, have performed that live. So I would love to see that. 
Um, if we're just asking for things that may or may not happen, I want another live UGG performance. <laughs> I would love them to do like Cypher 1, 2, 3, and 4 like they did in Wings Final. That was incredible. Um, I would like them to debut a new song that is Namjoon and Homie. Like that would be cool if we're talking about like ideal, ideal. Um, and then for them to play my all-time favorite BTS song, which is 134340. They played that at last muster, so I doubt they'll do it again. Um... But yeah, those are some things that I would like to see. The only thing I'm missing on this page is the Weverse pre-order benefit. Um, eventually, if I don't get it, I'll may just like turn that into a filler just so it doesn't look so sad. But there is Journey pretty much done. Um, and some of the like newer versions. See how like these look different than these Japanese PCs? I just thought it looked nice on two separate pages. And then if you're curious, I have set up for um, BTS the best. So I'll be collecting all of Namjoon's PCs and then also Hobie's fake love because if it looks anything like this one, I will need to have it. And it fit out a nine pocket really well. So I also set this up in chronological order, which I think is going to be fun. So instead of like by shop, I did it in the order of the release. Next we have a few DVD PCs. This looks a little different than when you saw it last, I think. Um, Wings is gonna go right here. So, and this is gonna look, this is gonna look very different once Memories comes out, which I'm very excited about. I love Memories because like, it's gonna need to go there, right? So I don't know what we're gonna do here, truly. I might just start a Memories page. Um, oh God, my finger was stuck in there, okay. But here is some uh, concert and then memories for Namjoon. So that looks nice. And then I've got this page going. This will be Hobie and Namjoon muster stuff. Um, I don't know how this began. It's because I pulled this and I could obviously never get rid of it. And then this is one of my favorite Hobie photo cards of all time. Can't resist duck face as uh, I've said before on my channel. So. Yeah, we have him. So I guess I'm low-key looking for his third muster PC, if anyone sees it, to fill this out. Wow, I love it. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the last album photo card. Let's jump back here. And finally, we are finishing off Namjoon um, with last but not least his, uh, maybe it is least, maybe it is least, <laughs> his Wings PC. I just, I don't love these photo cards. I think they're a little weird just because the quality is not great. But anyway, that's the bigger album photo cards all finished. Now we're going to m -m -m musters and fan meets. So let's finish off this cloud card set and then move on to fourth Japan fan meeting. Um, Madeline, hello Madeline, asks me a couple of questions. Um, first of all, she said favorite Atlanta trip memory. Uh, yeah, my friends were just visiting me in Atlanta, which is so, so nice. Let me take these fillers out. Um, we're all vaccinated. We all took very serious precautions, um, but you know, we hadn't seen each other in a very long time. So it was nice to get together. Um, honestly, this is gonna sound lame, but just getting to spend some time with you guys and like hang out in person. Um, my throat is kind of messed up and dry because we spent the whole weekend like laughing and talking. Um, which obviously I haven't got to do with, with people in person in quite a while. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. I will say a very fun BTS sort of related memory is that the first night that everyone was here, they all stayed at my house. Um, I hosted, what? Do I have four, two of these? I'm, I have never done this before. What? No, why? Oh my God, Alexa, how dare you? Didn't I just buy this? I'm pretty sure I just bought this from Le uh, Lex. Well, we'll see if we can trade that one, I guess. Anyway, a funny BTS related uh, memory with the Atlanta trip. We had, we were staying at my place and the first night that everyone got here, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, was Friday. And we stayed up really late talking and hanging out and having a good time. And we're sitting downstairs all chatting and me and Jane go silent because we had just gotten a notification that muster had been announced and we lost our fucking minds like screaming and our other two friends, they love BTS as well, but I guess they hadn't seen the notification come in. Um, 
they were like, what's going on? What's going on? And then just absolutely clowned us for the rest of the time because they were like, wait, you got that excited about a thing you knew was coming up? Like we knew Buster was happening, right? Or we hoped at least. Um, and yeah, we did absolutely lose our minds. And it was fun to sort of fangirl with someone. Um, normally I'm doing that all by myself. Uh, so yeah, that was a good time. Madeline also asked, a group your friends want you to get into? Um, definitely girl groups in general. Uh, Lex has made me a Red Velvet playlist that I have admittedly not listened to yet, but I'll get on that. Um, and then my friend Jen uh, really wants me to listen to Itzy. She really enjoys them. So those will be two things I potentially get to soon. I can't believe that I bought a dupe of this. Okay, now we are going to move on to Fifth Japan fan meeting. Um, I guess this is gonna go up before my haul where I've been like hauling these photo cards the entire time. But basically I did decide to collect OT7 for Fifth Japan fan meeting. Um, yeah, so I didn't, I put most of them away as I was getting them just cause it was gonna be overwhelming to complete like OT7 in here. Um, but I do have some that I haven't put away quite yet. So let me get those out. Hello, Madeline also asks, uh, who is bias wrecking you most during butter? Uh, Jin, Jin, this is Jin's song. It is so good. He sounds and looks so great. Um, Jin was the member that took me the longest to sort of truly appreciate. Um, and I apologize every day for that, but yeah, Jin, Jin, it's Jin. <laughs> I will say this is also Tay's song, like Tay's doing a great job and it seems like he's having a very fun time with the song, which is exciting to see. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Jin. Cause I can't have my own bias wreck me. But I mean, if, if we're being serious, this era, in my opinion, belongs to Hobie so far. This yellow hair is killing me. Yep, I don't have anything to add for Yungi. I'm only missing this photo card. He's like, has one arm up. <laughs> it's five of eight. Um, we'll finish out Hobie, Hobie, Hobie. Uh, Madeline also asks, uh, is there a trend among your biases in different groups? Like something they have maybe in common. Um, the first two groups that I like got into obviously were BTS and then TXT and I biased originally and still obviously, um, their leaders, which was interesting. So I thought maybe that was something I was, you know, maybe going to see a trend in. Um, and so that's maybe one thing. But then when you look at and hype in, I don't bias the leader. I bias Jake, who's kind of like the golden retriever of the group. And in ways, Hobie's kind of like the golden retriever. He's like the sunshine of, of BTS. So leaders slash sunshine boys um, so far seems to be the trend that I'm seeing. Um, but again, I'm not that into that many groups. So it's really hard to see or tell if there's going to be a real trend or not there. Jimin is done. Taeyong is going to be done right now. Summer of Chelsea, who's my friend Chelsea, asked, uh, what is your favorite Hobie hairstyle? Uh, I mean, my, do I have to say more? Do I have to say more? Um, that, that's not true, actually. My favorite Hobie hairstyle of all time is Chicken Noodle Soup Hobie, but this is a very close second. There's Taeyong. JK is done. All right, and then let's put some of these units away. And then the other two photo cards that I'm missing is this last unit, four, and this unit, I think it's four, right? Yeah, so four and four from each unit. Kels also asked what finally got you to give in and go hard for BTS. Um, I don't know, I kind of went hard from the beginning, I think. Uh, I knew nothing about them and then Jane and us hung out and then I was ready to buy concert tickets. I think I was very initially intrigued because the Atlanta concert was at the stadium for the school that I went to. And I was like, I've got to see this. Like, this is so funny. I need to see this happen. And so I was like, what if I went? What if I went to this concert? And then that was a slippery slope. So yeah, I don't know. I think I think it was destined for me to go hard. I don't know if there was like a turning point, um, but yeah, it was good stuff. Now I've got some Bung Bung Con units to put away. So let's go to my unit section here. I'm gonna be completing this set today, which is exciting. Um, Chels also asks my favorite BTS album and song on that album, probably You Never Walk Alone, and then Reflection. Uh, I love that song so much. Wait, how am I doing this? Summer of Chels also asked a song you'd like to see them perform on tour. Yeah, I think, um, from the most recent era, Disease. Did I mention that earlier? That I want to see Disease at Muster? That's what I want. I want to see Disease at Muster. Um, 
that's definitely what I want to see them do next. Because I think it could have sick choreo. My dream is for, um, no, wait, four, five, six. My dream is for them to do choreo and for Hobie to have done the choreo, like made the choreo up. That would be so cool. Um, love this card. So cute. Wait, what is happening here? What? Did I know that I had duplicates? What is wrong with me? There's Bon Bon Con. Done. So exciting. Next we have so, so many tour PCs. So many. My one lonely um, wings the final. He'll go right there. Beautiful. These cards are so hard to find. Why? Someone tell me why. We'll finish off. Love you shall speak yourself to Japan. This is two. Hopefully these are in order. It, they are beautiful. Um, Chim Chim OT7 asks, uh, how do we feel about Butter Dance Break Hobie? Lots of feelings. It's so funny. So when the music video came out, like, you know, there's a dance break in the music and that like that's the part they're all in the elevator. But I didn't even consider that when they were doing like a live performance of it, like what would happen during that time. So I was shocked, shocked during the BBMA's performance when we got to see that. Um, yeah, I just want Hobie to kick me in the face. I, I don't understand. And when he goes like this and like calls the other two members to come dance with him, who dances him? Is it, is it Yoongi and Jimin? It's Jimin and someone. It reminds me of an ego uh, when he said, like, come on, my fellas, or whatever. It's uh, it's just so cute. I can't get over it. Um, we are also going to finish this set, I believe. Mott's Tour. Right? Yeah. Look how cute. Oh, and we're at the last question. Uh, Lunar Dot Abyss says, favorite types of sets or cards to collect so far? I will say the most fun that I have had collecting. So obviously, up until now, I've really been back collecting stuff. Um, I came in pretty late in the game. Wait, wait, what? Where does this go? Oh, here. Um, these are my other member set. Um, yeah, I came and collected, started collecting fairly late in the game. So most of it has been back collecting, which obviously has been fun. But um, it was so fun, like getting a pack of photo cards, the Magic Shop, uh, Japan Magic Shop ones. And like, you know, trading with people who also had gotten sets. It's like stressful and a lot of like packing of photo cards but it was really fun. So yeah, in general, I really like collecting tour cards. I think they're really fun and beautiful. And I like that they're like an eight piece set um, and they're less stressful than album cards. And then in general, like collecting a set as they came out, like a, a muster or tour set as they came out um, was really fun. Um, I do have one new question for my checked last. Uh, Larissa Fines asks, who I also really like on YouTube, asks favorite bts dvd to watch memories concerts summer winter package um yeah i am through and through a tour dvd kind of gal um, i will throw on a concert like any day of the week if i need my spirits lifted which is kind of like a funny commitment because they are so long um but yeah like even right now my friend is about to come over and we're gonna go get the bts meal because it's the day it comes out for me um, when I'm filming this and then we're going to watch a concert. So I've seen all of them many times. Um, but yeah, I, I will rewatch them over and over and over again. So that's really fun. Uh, definitely my favorite sort of content to watch. Okay. We're nearing the end of stuff I have to put away. We'll go to Mox one, the last unit card. So cute. So, so cute. That will go there. All right, and then let's see what else do I have to put away. Ah, I missed some things along the way. So I set up a new section in my binder that's like merch things. So these pre-order benefit thingies will go in here. I, as you might have seen, pulled the exact same one of these four times. I sent one off to Jane. Um, I am desperately looking for especially the magic shop one which i think probably everyone wants if you want one of these in exchange for the magic shop please hit me up i would desperately like to have it um but it's not something i'm gonna like spend money on because like i already spent money to get you know these guys but i got four of the same so i'm gonna put one of these away in my binder i'm putting it with the this other like pre-order card whatever that's that's fine for now and then actually i've got to put away 
these two lenticulars. So let me grab the right page for that. And this will go, I guess, with the other fifth fan meeting stuff. Put this here. I wish that they were the same orientation, but alas. Okay. Cutie, cutie, cuties. Happy to have those. All right, and then the last thing I have to put away is actually a Japanese item. Um, I just decided to get this because I wanted to fill out this page actually. So I had, this is the Mod 7 one that came in like the US version of the journey. And then here is his changing jacket. I don't remember which version this came in, but that goes there. That is all I had to put away today. Um, exciting stuff. Got some holo cards. We finished off a bunch of unit PCs and muster and tour PCs. We finished off my Korean album photo cards, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you for asking questions. Uh, I hope this was a good time for you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and you know subscribe if you'd like to see more collection stuff. We've got many more things coming our way. Thank you so much for watching.